Aquatic Habitats Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com Earth is a home for all living organisms. Different organisms live in different surroundings. The surrounding in which an organism lives is called its habitat. Many organisms live in water, more specifically in pond, lake, river, ocean and other water bodies. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. We say that these organisms live in aquatic habitat. Don't get confused with the term aqua. It means water. Let's learn about some of the aquatic habitats on earth. Oceans Oceans are the place of living for many animals. Most of the ocean animals have gills or similar structures which help them to breathe in water. To survive in any habitat, the body parts of organism get modified over period of time. This is called adaptation. Some animals such as dolphins and whales do not have gills. But for breathing, they have nostrils or blow holes located on their upper body parts. They come to the surface of water for obtaining oxygen. They store the oxygen as much as they can and then dive deep in the sea. They use the stored oxygen for long time. For swimming, fish use its flat fins and tails. They have slippery scales on their bodies which helps in easy movement. To see around, they have transparent eyelids. They also have body which tapers towards both ends. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. We call such body as streamlined body. It helps them to swim faster. Animals like squid and octopus don't have such streamlined body. They live in deep sea. But when they move, they make their body shape streamlined. Animals feed on the plants or smaller animals. Speaking about plants, they are located at shallow depths. It is because sunlight can reach only up to certain distance below the surface of ocean. They have ability to absorb carbon dioxide dissolved in water and prepare their food by the process of photosynthesis. Land water, basically, land water exists in ponds, lakes, rivers and drains. The depth of these structures is very small as compared to oceans. It allows sunlight to reach at bottom. It makes it possible for some plants to grow at the bottom of water bodies. Some of them have their upper body floating on the water while others are completely submerged, that is, they are underwater. There are some other plants which are not rooted in soil. Instead, these are floating on water. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Roots help the plant to obtain water, minerals and nutrients. But more than that, they perform an important function of holding the plant at a place. 
Generally, the size of roots is small. The upper parts are supported with long tube-like stem. Leaves have large air spaces and waxy layer at their bottom, which helps them to float on a surface of water. Leaves are often divided into ribbon-like structures. It allows water to flow through them so that the fast-flowing water does not damage leaves. We can see wide variety of animals in these water bodies. They are adapted to live in such habitat. Animals like frog and duck use webbed toes for swimming. The feathers of duck are waxy due to which these does not get wet. Frog have triangular head to swim easily. They can store large amount of air or oxygen to stay longer in water. So I hope you understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfordafford.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfordafford.com.